is Martha Guptill at CelebrityCharities.com. We're at the 2014 Mid-Atlantic Convention. And it's uh, nostalgia, nostalgia all the way here. And I have with me this wonderful gentleman, George Lazenby, the Bond, our, one of our James Bonds. <laughs> <laughs> on Her Majesty's service, and uh, uh, I welcome it. Certainly, an actor and model, uh, and I, I do want to ask you at an, at uh, uh, at what age did did you start your modeling? And you were the top model in the world. That's for Neil Mott. Yeah. Well, that was when I was uh, what was 24, 25 years old in London. I didn't even know that there was such a thing as a model. But this photographer came in to buy a car and wouldn't buy one unless I did some pictures for him. And that's how I started. My life has been like that uh, throughout. The same with the acting. Uh, a friend of mine had a, uh, a date with an agent, and his girlfriend came back into town, so I went out with her. And that's how I started acting. Oh, oh my. Yeah. And, and, then, and then for your, your James Bond part, uh, how did that come about? Well, that was it. He, uh, yeah, that was my first role. That was your first role, and then what, for, for the actual interview, uh, what did you, what did you do for the interview? Did you dress a certain way, or did oh you, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, I, 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 I went uh, the whole way. I got a Rolex watch, which I already had. I did like James Bond as a movie anyway, and uh, then I got a suit made by his tailor, Sean Connery. Got my hair cut where he got his hair cut. And then rolled up and uh, asked him if they were looking for James Bond. Yeah, that's right. Well, that went on for four months before they said okay of testing. All right, and and then then later, well, you were a top skier, were you not? Uh, not not a top skier. I did win a gold medal in Austria for skiing, but there were a lot better skiers than me who were on the film. Goodness, in Austria. Yeah. That's tops, too. I've been to Austria, and I'm, oh, my, yeah. those mountains are, are right. quite something. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, for, for, I understand, uh, Bruce Lee, you had involvement with Bruce yeah. Lee. Now, how did that first come about? Where did you meet him? Well, I was uh, sailing for 15 months, and when I came away from sailing broke, I had to look for a job, and the Western film industry wouldn't touch me because the word got out that I was difficult to handle. So I uh, saw that Bruce Lee was the king of the movies at the time, and I went looking for him in uh, Hong Kong, and he didn't want to see me. And I was standing outside the studio waiting for a bus and a typhoon. <laughs> of course it wouldn't come. And, uh, and he came by and picked me up and took me to dinner. And it was uh, three days later he passed away. But we spent three days together. And he gave me money, new suit, so I was back on the road again, thanks to Bruce. And you did uh, three films, did you? Not? I did. Uh, ended up working for the, his studio, and did three uh, kung fu movies. Kung fu movies. Mm -hmm. oh my. Little dialogue, lots of action. Uh, I, I want to ask you: Is there uh, any any person or persons that uh, made the most impression upon you in your life? I mean, that you really looked up to? Uh, John Lennon, straight away. Mm -hmm. The song Imagine. Yes. Uh, that is one guy that's hard to top. George Carlin, the oh, yes. <laughs> comedian. Oh, yes. Yeah, I like real people. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, I want to ask uh, are there any hobbies or uh, interests that you have uh, besides acting? Well, I was uh, a motocrosser for, mm. I started that at 41. Went on till I was uh, 57. I won the expert class up at Mammoth uh, World Championship, and over 40 and over 50. But I started. Well, I started uh, riding, and then I found out where the best riders in the world lived, and I used to wait outside their house for them to take me training. And they'd say that old. They'd say that old guy's out there again. I was 41. They call me an old guy. No, uh, but if you're going to do something, you might as well do it well. Do it right. Yeah. Do it well. That's right. And learn from the best. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and now, are there any charities or foundations or organizations that's close to your heart? The kids. 
close to my heart. And uh, I've done quite a few charity things for kids. I just um, did one, what was his name, Paul Casey in Vegas. He's got a kid that's got this, you know, like this, yeah, beautiful little kid. And I've, I've done twice for him recently. And Children's Hospital, I go and donate blood there, that sort of thing. So I am charitable in a way. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you are. Very giving. And I, I do want, want to ask, are there... Um, in St. Jude. In St. Jude? We did St. Jude. The, the An auction yeah. for, the, for here at the convention. Right. For the nostalgia convention. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, had many items there. You right. Know, um, now, as, as, as far as uh, any new projects or any... Any no, I'm not. I'm not looking for projects. Mm -hmm. They come to me. No, and uh, I don't have an agent. And yes. people want you bad enough, they'll come find you. They'll find you. That's yeah, right. that's right. That's right. Now, uh, is there any contact information anyone would? would uh, not really. I don't. Uh, I don't want my life to be any more public than it is. And it is. <laughs> yeah. You want more private? I don't. Yeah. Blame you. I don't blame. You. Um, no, I, I do want to want to thank you. Uh, so much for, for your time here, and it's a, it's a pleasure. Thank to you. Meet, and one of the best bonds I've ever seen. And this man still looks it. Let me oh, tell you. Oh, stop it. Just look. The camera. Yeah, there you that's go. That's right. That's right. That's right.